morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube viewers, good morning, Facebook Nation. Good morning to all people, all colors, all races, all languages around the world, men, women, children. May you have the most beautiful day. May you have the most awesome day. And for whatever goals that you have set forth for yourself on this day, may those goals come to fruition. So, um, I just want to throw thoughts out there. So again, this is whenever I do a thought thing for a day, just that you know something that I can share to you know help people to go into a direction that is you know beneficial for their their, their self worth, their self enjoyment, as well as their self preservation. How to be the best you and how to preserve it and how to stand by it. So um, good morning, and uh, men, women, children, no matter where you are on the face of this earth. For whatever goals that you have set forth for yourself on this day, may those goals come to fruition. And may those goals encompass and entail that benefit for all of humanity in a positive way. Because we have to make the world a better place because we see what's going on in the world. So today's open mic topic is, you know, what the things that you need to, to do right now before you begin summer. And... Uh, we were talking about change in some of the previous videos. Like I said, go through the playlist because I talk about everything that takes place in this, on this, in this world. All the games, all how games are, you know, played, how they're manipulated, as well as how, you know, your light is the most valuable thing that that you, you know, you're born with that light. That light is your soul. Let me repeat that. Your light is your soul. So when you say a lot of per this person has a dark light, that person has a dark soul. This person has a light heart, then that person has a, a positive soul. You know, so we understand that, you know, our light can be light and it can be dark. But one of the things that, you know, we're waking up to, and I, you know, we gotta be thankful for this pandemic. Not in the way that, you know, lives were lost, but in the way that humanity revealed itself. Something that it can't take back and something that it's not going to take back. But you have a choice you can you know continue we can continue along with the same things that you know kept us in this circular motion of going in nowhere or or we um or we uh we uh we do what we need to do to you know preserve who we are hopefully i didn't say that twice i got kind of like something that was stuck but um one of the things that i do and one of the things that works for me you know and uh is that there's a famous uh, person, there was a quote that, that they made. I don't know if this was Einstein, but I, it could have possibly been. But the quote goes that a person with few friends has friends. Think about that one. So when we go through the summer, we sit back and we go through these processes and we, we think that everything is, uh, you know, our friends have been our friends and these emotional roller coasters that you go, with, go through life with them, you feel that these things are something that's inevitable, that this is what life is. And I'm here to tell you that this is not what life is. And that, you know, true people that are, you know, there for your positive and for your beneficial, for you, you know, they're true. You know if they're true and if they're not. But the thing is, we often, we play games. We sit back and we say, well, you know, that that's, you know, you overlook things. You say, oh, you know, that okay, okay, okay. But we're adults and we're gonna do this and we're gonna pass it on to our children. So, you know, I live my life in a way that is reflective of not only what I want for myself, but what I want for my children. And that's, you know, to let them know that validation, which they all do, you know, and I gotta be thankful for it, you know, um, that they know it, you know, that they validate themselves. They don't need outside people, but we live in this world where everything is validation. Even, you know, any kind of connections that we, we most people have out here are based on this validation cycle. So what I say to people is, you know, get into do the things that you like to do to validate yourself in the way that you like to be validated. Because when you're not validating yourself, somebody else is. And that's giving someone control over you. So I say to you, just a quick message to say, take back control over you. And to take back control of your life. Because your life is what's important, not what everybody else thinks. So with that, everyone, how you doing? All right. I'm great. I'm great, Tim. I'm just doing a quick video. <laughs> All right, have a good one. So, uh, see, I just had to say hello, good person, you know. And the thing is, like I say, when it comes to, you know, good people, good people are going to be good people. You know, good people are just good. They don't portray themselves. They're not, you know, any for any other, you know, any kind of any reward or anything like that. So, um, you know, when we see, you know, when I experience it, I have that those I have those people like the person that you just saw me greet. 
as well as whenever you hear me greet someone, it's because these people possess the same. And no matter what they go through is the same thing with me, is that no matter what I go through, I don't bring it and I don't put it on other people. But we're living in that type of world where right now that this is what happens. You know, people are feeling down, they wanna bring you down. Who, who does that? So this is why I say to you, you know, you have to turn around and you have to move away from things. You really have to, you know, to set standards on who you are as a person and where your boundaries are. And that's all the way across the board because it's the one or two people that you allow to get away are the very same thing as saying you're being a hypocrite to it is who, who, who you actually are. So it's like telling someone, hey, I'm this way, this is what I want, this is what I believe. But then the other person that you're telling this to says, well, you're not that way with me. The thing is, yeah, you are that way. And put include that person with everything else because you've been put into a pool that has been general, generalized for friends who bring you up and down and everything is decisive and everything is whatever. Everything has a purpose. And if you don't understand what that purpose is, then you don't need to be around those people. You know, so, you know, I don't know if it was just a rant or a rambling, but basically to say that, you know, people who are chasing validation usually have a hard time being genuine, plain and simple. So take that away and walk away with that and let, allow that to be, you know, motivation for you to never feel alone. Because like I said, and en ending is the person that I just read it, not only do, you know, I can say hello to this person, but you know, this person genuinely cares about what I have to say, just the same way as what I do. And it sh I've, it's shown that type of respect. And this is what you want. You want people to respect you the way you want to be treated and you treat people the way they want to be treated. And don't settle for anything else and don't settle for anything less. And that comes from believing in yourself and to be able to not be afraid to be alone because you're really not alone. Because you're not alone. You got people around you. And the thing is, it's because of the people that we want to, to be around us. This is why we run into mistakes. We want people to validate us instead of people who are good for us. So when, you know, when it comes to you know, friendships, work relationships, any type of even intimate relationships, you have to make sure that that person is a friend first. That's the simplest thing to be, but it's the hardest thing in the world that we live in right now. So with that, everyone have the most beautiful day. Continue to be the best person that you can be. And, um, you know, even though that there's, you know, bad things going on in the world, can continue to have love and continue to have dialogue, you know, and continue to accept accountability. And that's something that we all have to do. And it's something that I do. So if me sharing with you, you know, what I do and what I, how I, you know, move and, and maneuver through life, then maybe that might help you in your situation. So with that, everyone, have the most beautiful day. Have an awesome day. Be the best person that you can be. And with that, everyone, peace and blessings.